Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm going to show you how to create custom and interactive buttons in Power BI using images. This new feature unlocks so many possibilities for design, and I can't wait to see the creative ways people utilize this in reports. So let's go ahead, hop right into Power BI, and get started. So what you can see in front of us is four buttons that I've built in an image editor, and each one of these is an image that I found off of the web, and I did some specific formatting to get it to achieve this effect. Now you can see that the same fill states that we have as far as the default, hover, and then click are present in each one of these, creating a really rich and interactive button experience. And if we come over to the visualizations pane here and look under fill, we're gonna notice a new option. On top of the standard fill states that I have for default, hover, and press that I just discovered, these three that you see here, there's the default, hover, click, three different colors filling in. What I have is I've uploaded an image file that's allowed in here now. We can get rid of this here. You can see that there's an add image option. Go ahead and undo that. And that's what's showing up here. And what I've done actually to get this to achieve the effect of filling in in certain areas is that I've made sure using an image editor to have all of the pixels filled in except for a couple of spots where I want the fill color to show up. So in this case, the actual image itself is clear where this arrow is. It's clear inside of this button here and in here and in here. So that's where the fill color is coming in. And the other way too that I was able to get the buttons to have a nice outline and frame around them rather than a square is I've filled the edges in with the same color as the background color. Now at the time of making this, I have noticed a slight artifact where if you actually look very closely next to any of these buttons, you can see a very thin dotted outline. And what I have found that even if I take the image and fill it into the pixel's edge with the background color, the fill color sometimes bleeds in at a one pixel width with the fill color just around the frame. So there is a teeny tiny bit of a formatting artifact that's showing up um, hopefully this gets updated. I did email the product team about this, but that's the one downside to this is if you want a non-square button and you want one to look more like the shape of the image that you have, that's kind of the one downside. Right now my buttons are a lot bigger, so it's a bit more noticeable, but on a standard size button where you might have it up here in the corner of the screen, it might not be as noticeable or even noticeable at all by the time you develop it. But as you can see, there's some really clever way to layer an image that has filled colors in plus having some clear backgrounds for it, allowing you to incorporate that fill color effect into here and giving this nice little effect of being able to hover and click on all of these. So the creative freedom to this is amazing. There's so many ways that you can upload basically now any image that you want into this. Uh, a couple of things that I wanna mention about the image over in the fill thing here, you do have an image fit as far as normal fit and fill. There isn't any option for alignment of top, middle or bottom. You can't really adjust the size of it the image does have to fill to the size of the box itself. And it does automatically adjust to the ratio of this. So there's no way for you to have it say keep aspect ratio, but also change the ratio of the object view box. So a couple of limitations there. And at some point I do hope that you can maybe make some adjustments to the size of this, where you can have the button be one size and the image be another. But for now, those adjustments you will need to make within like an image editor like Photoshop or anything else that you might use to edit images. But other than that, from a report perspective, this is one of my favorite additions that they've added in a long time. It's created a whole new realm of possibilities for adding really cool buttons and web-like effects into Power BI reports, as long as you do a little bit of Photoshop magic to set up the environment to, you know, allow for that clear background in certain areas to let that fill color pass through and just a bit of formatting around the edges and stuff to make it blend into the background. So it actually fills in very intuitively and very cleanly. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel, or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.